Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Handmade by Gardena and I am finally back from my convention. I'm sorry that I didn't have any videos while I was gone because before I left for convention I got bronchitis and then I had a cyst underneath my arm that had ruptured through the skin and I had to go to the doctor. They put me on antibiotics. I took one dose of the antibiotics and I was allergic to it. Broke out into a rash all over. Took some Benadryl, took a bath and some Epsom salts. And this was on a Sunday and they had already closed. So then I had to go back to the fast care, which is like an urgent care, and get a different antibiotic that Monday. And I was going to leave, and we left on Tuesday. So they gave me a different antibiotic, and I had to tell my pharmacist to hurry and get it filled because I was getting ready to leave. And I was having to do all this paperwork, all this packing and everything, so it was like, it was almost like fate was telling me, you're not going on this trip. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It was, so yeah. So I'm sorry I left you all without any videos to watch while I was gone. And I'm also behind on my comments, but I will get caught up. So today we are going to do the CW Planner 2021 Collage Weekly Planner Challenge by Marguerite Miller. And we are on week 35. And our prompts today are something found in an office. A brown paper or a paper bag piece, a game piece or puzzle piece, something that is alive, a barcode, and the bonus is light, whatever that means to you. So we'll get started. So I am just going to um, put some paper down to uh, just get the uh, stuff started but yeah so I went to uh, Greensboro North Carolina and it was Tuesday I left Tuesday come home Sunday had a wonderful time um, one of our veterans from Kentucky he won National Commander, so we have an, our first National AMVET Commander, He's, which AMVET stands for American Veterans, from Kentucky, and his name is Greg, so he is, and he will make an awesome commander, he is a, a great guy, I know him personally, he, he is, he is great. He, he will make a great commander. And then one of our ladies, which is also a state officer, she is the banquet chairwoman for the state. She is the national treasurer. So, which she's been a, a past national president also. So she's been a national officer for a while. So now Kentucky has a ladies auxiliary national officer and we have a veterans national officer and we have a we also have a son's past national commander. So, we have, they have represented Kentucky very well. I am very proud to call all three of them my friends. They are awesome people. And the Department of Kentucky won a few awards and then some local auxiliaries won some awards and um, I represented 
Kentucky as the new state president. Had a wonderful time. It was so much fun. Uh, you are in meetings all day. I mean, literally all day. Our meeting started at 8 o'clock in the morning. And got out. Sometimes we got out at 3 or 4 o'clock. And sometimes we got out at 2 o'clock. And then at night, like uh, one night, we had a banquet, which um, Ohio won Department of the Year, which congratulations to the state of Ohio. And uh, for the ladies' auxiliary, And uh, Auxiliary in Florida won a Local Auxiliary of the Year. So, that was awesome. So, and then um, another night we did... Uh, the Silver Helmet Awards, which uh, is individual awards for people that had done outstanding work. And one gentleman had started an AMVETS in a local uh, correctional facility where he lived. And these inmates were veterans and they were in a correctional facility, and he was working with them to better their futures. And it was working when they got out of the correctional facility. Uh, it was like 75% of them weren't going back into that correctional facility facilities so it was a wonderful thing that he was doing I mean it, it was awesome it was is very nice so I had a great time uh, met some wonderful people I mean it, it, I had a wonderful time there was people there from Alaska to Florida, Ohio, Indiana, Nebraska, uh, Tennessee, um, Alabama. Just, I mean, all over the United States. It, it was wonderful. Okay, so this is my brown paper bag. Right here. So, we'll use some of it. So, when I got home Sunday, while I was gone, the cyst underneath my arm that had ruptured through my skin had gotten worse because I kept it covered with the band-aid. Well, I was changing the band-aid every day and the packing and um, the band-aid had irritated my skin surrounding the wound of the cyst. So, I had to go first thing Monday morning, go see the doc my doctor again over this cyst, and he ordered some cream, which he said the wound looked excellent. 
it wasn't, he said the infection was going away on my wound and everything. It was just that the band-aid had irritated the skin. So when I'm at home, um, not to put a band-aid on it or anything, um, to keep it open. But when I go out, then I'm supposed to put something over it. So, and then I go back and see him next Monday, which I'm filming this Tuesday on the 24th, and I go see him Monday. So, here is something found in an office. Excuse my reach. And I think I'm going to ink this up. This is a Rolodex card that I received. I had ordered something. And I cannot remember what it was now. I'd ordered something and this was like a little thank you that was in the uh, package. Oh no, this is not going to work. I didn't realize my glue stick was almost gone. Hopefully it'll last me this video. I hope. Put it here. And then I also have some stickers from your creative studio. If I could get them off of some like bulldog clips. Well, all right, what's the trick here? Are they not individual stickers? thought they would be individual stickers but they're not so okay problem solved we will just cut them out And place it right there. There we go. So that's something found in the office. Our brown paper bag. And something that is alive. I have my antiquarian book here. And I am going to use some birds. So since I'm about out of my glue stick, I'll just put some uh, art glitter glue on it. So I am so sorry. I've been so rude. I hope that you all are doing well and have been doing well since I have been gone. 
I have missed you all very much. Um, I had to rest up Sunday when I got home in Monday because my feet were really, really bad swollen where I had been on my feet so much. I mean, I couldn't even move my toes. I couldn't wear my shoes. I had to ride home barefooted because my shoes would not fit. Literally would not fit. And, um, so I had to stay in bed with my feet propped up. Which, now they have finally gone down. So, that is better. But yeah, I hope that you all have been doing well. I have missed each and every one of you all so much. Because while I was gone, I wasn't able to watch any videos, um, look at any Facebook or anything. I mean, that's how busy we were. I wasn't able to check emails or nothing. I think when I got home, I had around 200 and some emails, which... This is my barcode, which it's where I buy books from, thrift books, which most of those emails, though, are junk. You know how you get all that junk email stuff. So, I will get caught up on watching people's videos and get caught up on my videos. This is a light, whatever that means to you, and it is the sun because the sun emits light. And that come from the Antiquarian book again. So something found in an office, a Rolodex, and a Bulldog clip, brown paper bag is here and here. Our puzzle piece. I have three of them right here. Whoops. Well, I can't hold on to nothing. I hope I am in frame. But yeah, I had a wonderful time. Uh, I tried uh, some new food, which for me is excellent. I am a very picky person. I tried Thai food. And it was really good. Uh, I loved it. It's really, really good. Which, um, my convention was in Greensboro, North Carolina. And that was the first time that I had been to North Carolina. Beautiful state. It was just really hot and muggy, which... Pretty much used to it, because... That's the way it is in Kentucky, too. I mean... Just really hot and muggy. Uh, the our POW MIA ceremony, which POW is prisoner of war, MIA, in case you don't know. Sorry, my dogs are barking. Don't know why. My husband's going to go check. Um, MIA means missing in action during war. And there is a ceremony that 
they do every year and they had done a new ceremony this year and it was just awesome I loved it it, it was a beautiful ceremony and every time they do that ceremony I end up crying <laughs> I can't help it. I cry every time that that ceremony is done. But this year, um, a Marine in North Carolina that was based in North Carolina, he sang a song that was about POWMIA, and I had never heard it before. And then um, after his song, they explained everything of what is on a POWMIA table which I had knew all that and it was just the song was just amazing he was an amazing singer it was just he was amazing just amazing okay here is a paper clip and I think I got this from Sherry at turquoise dreaming so it is from an office too so i am going to paper clip that right there and it has some fabric on it of the edging because i like that so i'm going to use that right there so something found in an office a paper clip a bulldog clip and a rolodex brown paper bag is here and here a game piece or puzzle piece we have some puzzle pieces here Something that is alive is our three birds. A barcode is here. Bonus is light. Whatever that means to you is here. But I feel like something is missing. I think we need some script. Maybe along through here. Let me get a script stamp out. If I can find it real quick. Um, let's see what else happened while I was gone. Yeah, that looks better. And once we got there, everything went great. Uh, the hotel was excellent. Let me take this off to put some script on there. The hotel we stayed at was excellent. Um, very nice hotel. It was just very large and a lot of walking. Lots and lots and lots of walking. Okay, so I think that looks better. So let's put our date on it. Today is August the 24th. Which I have a week to get three journals made for my design team projects. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to get cracking. I have to get in gear and get to work. So, I have a lot to do. So, something found in the office, a Rolodex, a Bulldog clip, and a paper clip. 
brown paper bag or a brown paper or a paper bag piece here and here a game piece or puzzle piece here here and here something that is alive is our three birds a barcode is here and bonus is light whatever that means to you is here so lord i got ink all over me so next week is week 36 which gets us into august and september something that is dark textured paper something round Paper with a repeating pattern, a place, and bonus is a plane. So, um, that's what we will be doing next week for our CW Planner. So, I hope you all are having a good day or a good night, wherever you may be. Thank you to all of my subscribers, my new subscribers, my current subscribers. I appreci appreciate each and every one of you all. Sorry that I didn't have any videos made. Everything just came up when I got sick and everything. So I apologize for all of that. And uh, I'll get caught up on my videos and my design team projects and everything. And I hope you all are doing well. Hope you all remember to do your smiling while I was gone. Because... Um, it works because when I pass by people, uh, you smile and they smile back at you and it really works. And, you know, you never know what kind of day a person is having. They could be having a really bad day and when you give them a smile, that could really be the high point of their day. So make sure you are still doing your smiles for yourself and for others and I appreciate you all and I will see you all in the next video goodbye